Have you ever stumbled upon a movie that left you scratching your head, laughing out loud, and perhaps shedding a tear or two? Well, get ready because The Boy with Green Hair from 1948 promises just that. This film tells the story of a young boy who wakes up one day to find his hair has turned an unmistakable shade of green. And trust us, the surprises don't stop there. There are plenty of funny, shocking, and even sad moments waiting for you in this cinematic journey, so keep your eyes peeled. Now, let me ask you this, when was the first time you watched this movie? Or perhaps you have a cherished memory associated with it. We'd love to hear your stories and experiences in the comments below. So grab your popcorn, settle in, and prepare for a roller coaster of emotions with the boy with green hair. In 1948, a memorable film hit the screens, leaving a strong impression on movie buffs. The Boy with Green Hair appeared during the period after World War II, bringing a touching story that connected with the issues of its time. Imagine this, a young boy named Peter wakes up one day to find his hair has turned an odd shade of green. This interesting start sets the stage for a tale that goes beyond surface level, diving into deeper societal problems and human feelings. Amid the busy atmosphere of 1940s America, the film reflects the thoughts of a world dealing with the aftermath of war. The boy with green hair becomes a symbol, representing how conflict affects the innocence of young people. As he moves through a society struggling to find its identity, his green hair becomes a visible sign of the many sides of human experience. Directed by Joseph Luzzi, the film's strength lies not only in its engaging story, but also in its ability to talk about society. The boy with green hair reflects the thoughts of a nation, questioning the usual ways and pushing for change. In the world of movies, this work is more than just a film. It mirrors its time, shows the strength of the human spirit, and reminds us of how war can affect the most vulnerable among us. The film's lasting impact comes from how it connects with audiences through the years, giving a timeless look into identity, acceptance, and the desire for a better world. The Boy with Green Hair isn't just a movie, it's a journey through human complexity set against a crucial moment in history. As we remember this film, we're reminded of its deep effect, prompting us to think about our own roles in making a kinder world. The boy with green hair actor was considered for Stephen Boyd's role as Masala in Ben-Hur, while performing in a stock play version of A Kiss for Cinderella in 1941 with actress Louise Reiner. Reiner's ex-husband, Clifford Odditz, saw him and offered him the featured juvenile part in his Broadway play Clash by Night as Joe Doyle, opposite Tullin the Bankhead. A decade later, he starred in the film version, but had outgrown the juvenile role and instead played Earl Pfeiffer, one of the leads originated on Broadway by Joseph Shawcroft. His Joe Doyle character was played by Keith Andes in the film Clash by Night. The pilot episode for Quantum Leap is dedicated to him. He played Al Cali Vici on the original Quantum Leap. The Boy with Green Hair is a 1948 movie that holds some interesting trivia. Its lead actor appeared in three Oscar Best Picture nominees before starring in the film. Later in 1973, he played a role in The Iceman Cometh while battling lung cancer, a disease that eventually claimed his life. His wife had also died from cancer the year before. There's a notable rumor surrounding the lead actor, suggesting he held a record for reverse curling his own body weight. However, the correct weight he reverse curled was 163 pounds. In summary, the boy with green hair lead actor had a significant career in Hollywood, appearing in notable films and battling illness later in life. The Boy with Green Hair is a classic movie from the late 1940s. It features an actress who was famous for appearing in Dr. Pepper calendars during the 1940s and 50s. Her photo is showcased at the Dr. Pepper Museum in Dublin, Texas. She was also in several well-known films recognized by the Library of Congress for their cultural significance like the front page, Newt Rockne All-American, and Some Like It Hot. She acted alongside James Cagney in nine films, such as Here Comes the Navy, Devil Dogs of the Air, and Angels with Dirty Faces. These collaborations highlight her extensive impact on classic cinema. The actor had a diverse career, showing his ability to work with many different people on various projects. He demonstrated his impressive monocross skills in a movie with Steve McQueen, doing daring stunts and charming audiences on screen. With the talented Yvonne Craig, he brought depth and chemistry to their shared projects, making a lasting impression on viewers. Also, he worked with Richard Boehmer in several productions, showing he could adapt and do well in different roles and genres. His skill in moving between projects showed how flexible and adaptable he was in the entertainment industry, solidifying his reputation as a versatile performer who could connect with audiences in many ways. 
The Boy with Green Hair tells the story of a young man who, after the death of his parents, discovers that his hair has turned green overnight. He is taken in by a kindly old couple who run a home for war orphans. As he struggles to understand his condition, he faces prejudice and misunderstanding from the townspeople. The movie features a cast of talented actors, including Robert Mitchum, who plays a sympathetic army veteran, and Dean Stockwell, who portrays the titular character. The film explores themes of prejudice, war, and the importance of acceptance and understanding. Dean Stockwell's journey to Hollywood began in Oklahoma City, where he attended high school and developed a passion for horse riding and boxing. Despite early success in the ring, he ultimately pursued a career in law, acting only as a hobby at the Pasadena Playhouse. It was his stage work at the Pasadena Playhouse that caught the attention of producers, leading to his eventual transition to full-time acting. Throughout his career, Stockwell appeared in several notable films, including Crossfire and The Longest Day, both of which were nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. Despite initial reluctance, Stockwell's decision to pursue acting ultimately led to a successful career in Hollywood, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. In the 1948 movie The Boy with Green Hair, actor Dean Stockwell, known for his roles in various productions, portrayed a significant character. Interestingly, Stockwell's involvement in the film coincided with a tumultuous period in Hollywood history. During the filming, director Joseph Luzzi faced interference from Howard Hughes, who took control of RKO Studios and disapproved of the movie's pacifist theme. Despite Hughes' attempts to alter the film's message, Luzzi managed to preserve its integrity. Screenwriter Ben Barsman, later blacklisted along with Luzzi, recalled the challenges they faced, including pressure to adjust dialogue to soften the movie's impact. However, Stockwell, who played a pivotal role, remained steadfast in his support of the film's message, even when confronted by Hughes himself. This incident showcased Stockwell's commitment to the project's ideals and his refusal to compromise his beliefs. The movie's enduring significance is evident in Stockwell's later portrayal of Howard Hughes in Tucker the Man and His Dream. Additionally, the influence of the boy with green hair extended beyond cinema, as evidenced by the character Fred Jones in Scooby-Doo, modeled after one of the film's lead characters. Thus, despite challenges and opposition, the boy with green hair leaves a lasting legacy, resonating with audiences and influencing popular culture. The Boy with Green Hair is a 1948 movie that features notable actors like Robert Young and Katherine Hepburn. The director, Gregory LaCava, discovered one of the actors, Dean Stockwell, after Gary Gray, originally cast in the role of Peter Fry, fell ill. Stockwell stepped in to play the lead role. Before his role in The Boy with Green Hair, Stockwell had acted in various productions, including Gabriel over the White House in 1933. He later took on Shakespearean roles such as Antony and Cleopatra alongside Catherine Hepburn in 1960. The movie's plot revolves around a young orphan named Peter Fry, who wakes up one day with bright green hair, causing a stir in his small town. As Peter tries to understand why he has green hair and what it means, he faces prejudice and misunderstanding from the community. Throughout the film, Peter's green hair serves as a metaphor for being different and facing discrimination, ultimately delivering a message about acceptance and tolerance. In conclusion, The Boy with Green Hair, directed by Gregory LaCava, stars Dean Stockwell as the lead character, Peter Fry. The film explores themes of prejudice and acceptance in a small town setting, with Stockwell delivering a memorable performance despite his unexpected casting.